Hey everyone, it's Alexander the Real Mr. Robinson, and this is my review for 2008's Rambo, which is the fourth film in the franchise and the only one to be directed by Sylvester Stallone. It's funny that Sylvester Stallone directed a majority of the Rocky movies, but this is the only Rambo movie he's directed. But anyway, as I said, this movie came out in 2008. It takes place 20 years after the events of Rambo 3, where John Rambo, once again played by Stallone, is living in Thailand as a snake wrangler and occasionally takes people upriver in his boat. So he's approached by a group of missionaries who want to hire him to take them up to Burma to help out the local villages. And he reluctantly takes them up there because Burma is a war zone and there's just so much shit going on there. But it doesn't take long for the missionaries to get captured. Some of them are killed in unbelievably brutal ways. So John Rambo ends up joining a group of mercenaries to go into Burma and try to rescue the missionaries. Now this was my introduction to the Rambo series. I saw this movie when it came out in the theaters on the Friday it was released, and I remember liking it a lot. Granted, I didn't see the other movies beforehand, so my basic knowledge of Rambo was guy in a bandana going around killing people. That's it. So now that I've seen all of the other Rambo movies leading up to this one, I find myself liking this a tad more than when I first saw it. At the very least, I have more respect for this movie because this and Rocky Balboa came out around the same time and Sylvester Stallone made both of those movies to try to give a more fitting send-off to each character. Well, at least we thought they were send-offs. But regardless, when you think back to both franchises, Rocky V and Rambo III, sucked. They weren't terrible, but they just weren't good at all, and they are not the final movies you want in each franchise. So Sylvester Stallone comes in and makes both of these movies, Rocky Balboa and Rambo, and I love Rocky Balboa, and while Rambo is not as good as Rocky Balboa in the slightest, I do think it's actually a very satisfying conclusion to the Rambo character. Again, at least we thought it was. Sylvester Stallone in this movie is very good, and he treats Rambo in this movie the very same way he treated Rocky in Rocky Balboa, where he's very much aware that Rambo is a much older guy. He's not young, he's not as muscular as he was back in the 80s, and in this movie, Rambo is pretty much a bitter and cynical man who doesn't want to get involved in some other wars, and in a way, he kind of hates who he's become. Because thinking back all the way to First Blood, he's a guy that can't function in a regular society. Because he is mentally broken, he is physically broken, so he really can't go home. His definition of home is in the jungle, and even when it comes to killing people, he hates himself for it in the first bit of the movie. And there's a line in this movie that really defines the kind of character that Rambo is. It's an internal monologue where Rambo is pretty much gearing up to go save the missionaries, where he pretty much says, I didn't kill for my country. I killed for myself. And when you think back to the last two movies before this one, it actually makes a whole lot of sense given that he is just killing everyone and not taking any damage. Okay, that last part doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but the fact that he's just killing nonstop and knowing that he's killing for himself and not his country, that adds a pretty heavy layer to this character. Which is another thing that I also appreciate about this movie, the much darker tone, because before this movie came out, Rambo was a cartoon character. I mean, literally to the point where there was the Rambo The Force of Freedom animated series. If you did not grow up in the 80s like I did, I want you to think about this for a second. This was a series of rated R movies about a broken, damaged Vietnam veteran, and they made not only a cartoon series for kids, but a line of action figures for kids as well. Like, what the hell was with you guys in the 80s? I mean, you guys came up with some awesome stuff, but I want to know whose idea it was to take this series about a broken Vietnam vet with themes that kids really shouldn't be watching and decide to make a cartoon series. Like, who, who thought of that? So that was the state of Rambo. So when Sylvester Stallone came in to make this movie, he decided to take a different approach and make this a very dark film and a very disturbing one when you get right down to it. I mean, I know I just pointed out that the Rambo movies are movies that kids technically shouldn't be watching, but with Rambo First Blood Part Two, if you look at it by today's standards, maybe cut out some F-bombs here and there, it could pass as a PG-13 movie. But with this movie here, 
I am actually shocked that it is just an R-rated movie. Because not only with the level of violence, which I'll get to a little later, but just the overall theme of the movie and what it's actually based around, kids really shouldn't be watching this at all. Because this movie uses the conflicts going on in Burma as pretty much its backdrop. It's not based on actual true events, but it uses this horrific scenario as the basis for its movie. And let's just get into the violence right now, because that's one of the biggest talking points about this movie. The main reason why I say that Rambo First Blood Part 2 could pass as a PG-13 movie is because when people get shot, they just fall over. You might see a few blood splurts here and there, but nothing too graphic that kids shouldn't be watching. In this movie, no, that, that's not the case at all. Like, people's heads are blowing up, people are getting chopped in half by machine guns, people are blowing up. I mean, there was one point in this movie, right at the beginning of the film's climax, where Rambo is on a heavy machine gun, shoots a guy at close range, and the guy pretty much explodes into spaghetti. And I'm like, dude. Dude, really? And I really have conflicting opinions about the violence here. When you see the villains of the movie capturing, destroying, torturing, and even raping entire villages, it gets really uncomfortable to watch, especially when you're seeing innocent people run through rice paddy water that the villains throw landmines into, taking bets on who's going to explode. Like, it's... It's tough to watch. Now, I understand that this is a war movie and war is hell, but that doesn't change the fact that parts of this movie are just really, really hard to watch. Stallone makes the villains in this movie absolutely despicable. Like, they do the most heinous crimes against humanity you could think of. And he even goes as far to make the villain of the movie a gay child molester. There's a scene in this movie where Rambo and the mercenaries are going around saving the missionaries at this camp, and the villain asks for this young boy to come into his quarters, and he just kind of slightly touches the boy's hair as the door closes, and you're like, Wow, I mean, I already had enough reason to hate these guys, but you just had to go that extra mile. So in that sense, it's a pretty tough movie to watch. But on the other hand, when you're seeing the actual villains themselves get shot up, heads blow up, or just, as I said, turned into spaghetti with machine gun fire, it is so awesome right there. I mean, it's gratuitous, and sometimes it gets to the point where it's just almost nauseating. But it's that last 20 minutes of the movie where you see Rambo just mowing down everyone with a machine gun that makes this movie for me. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of great moments with the Rambo character when he's not killing people, but with those last 20 minutes, that is the perfect definition of a Rambo movie. It's a movie that tries to be serious about this subject matter, but also wants to give you all the kick-ass action that you come to see and that you love Rambo First Blood Part 2 for. I mean, this movie, I give it props for attempting to be serious in many ways, but when it's silly, it's undeniably silly. And as awesome as the finale is, sometimes it gets so gratuitous in terms of the violence that it can be straight up ridiculous. But I will say that despite all those silly moments in the finale, it's very tense, it's well paced, it's very well edited, and some of the effects in terms of practical and CG effects blend pretty well when you see guys getting blown up. I mean, there is some terrible CG here and there, like when Rambo finally kills the last guy, guts him with a machete, and it looks like his body's about to be split in half as he's rolling down the hill dead. That sequence in terms of CGI doesn't look good, but this isn't a CG-heavy movie to begin with, so I'm not going to be too critical on it. If I had some other issues with the movie, it was with the missionaries. I didn't think they were the best actors in the movie, especially the lead missionary, and some of the dialogue that comes from them is just absolutely horrible. Maybe not the actual lines themselves, but the way the main guy was delivering these lines. It was like, wow, you're not that good in this movie, are you? But outside of that, 
I don't have much else to say about Rambo. I don't think it's an amazing movie per se, but for being a Rambo movie, what it is, it gets the job done. It's very well paced. There's never a point where I feel like it slows down. The action is there. It can be gratuitous. It can be over the top violent and it can be silly at points, but I still think it can be enjoyable in some aspects. And Sylvester Stallone gives another good performance as the character. And this is actually my second favorite Rambo movie. It takes the over-the-top action in Rambo First Blood Part 2 with the more personal tone from First Blood. And I think it mostly succeeds in the end. Enough for me to say it's good. But again, it's not a great movie at all. If you were never into the Rambo movies and you always thought Rambo was silly, this is not going to change your mind at all. I mean, I like that last 20 minutes, but again, it can be really ridiculous. Huh? And again, you're never gonna top First Blood. First Blood is a masterpiece. And as much as I enjoy this movie, none of the sequels can even come close to that original. And there you go, that's my review for Rambo. Now next week is the release of the fifth movie, Rambo Last Blood, and I might be late in terms of a review. And the reason is because I'm heading down to Austin, Texas next week for Fantastic Fest. I've been planning this trip for months and I'm super excited to go because this will be my first time going to Fantastic Fest. So definitely keep your eyes open for a bunch of reviews from Fantastic Fest. As many movies as I can see, I will give you reviews for them. And in terms of Rambo Last Blood, I'm gonna try to see if I can get an early screening here in town, and if I can't, then I'm gonna try to see if I can make time to see it while I'm in Austin. So I'm just bracing you guys for the fact that this might be a late review. So now I wanna know what you guys think about this movie here, Rambo. If you've seen it, what did you think? Out of all the Rambo movies that are currently out, which one is your favorite, and why is it your favorite? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and of course leave a comment. Don't forget to support my Patreon page, follow me on social media, and until next time, this is The Real Mr. Robinson telling you there is only one.